Creo Parametric 11 keeps the tradition of making core tools, widgets, and workflows better and easier to use. This video shows several of these improvements bundled together. Let's start with drag handles. In Creo 6, we improved their appearance and visibility on screen, but we kept most of the existing handle types and their functions as before, even though we updated how they look. In Creo 11, we build on our previous work in a significant way. All drag handles for feature dimensions in part and sheet metal modes were updated in their size, style, and behavior, and we also added new types to better show the association between different dimension types and their handles. But that's not all. As you can see, some drag handle types now have 3D projections, whereas previously all handles were displayed flat to screen. They are projected either on virtual planes, like the new angular handle, or on an actual geometry, like the section or the bend position handles in the example of this flat feature. The purpose of these projections is to assist with various aspects. First, to give more clarity on what the handle does, which is especially useful in complex features with many handles on screen at once. Secondly, to minimize clutter and ensure that only the relevant handles for a specific camera orientation are fully displayed while the ones that are not useful are not shown or shown with less visibility. But that's not just that. For example, you can now better see the selected references of the reference handles by looking at the screen. Reference handles are now projected on the chosen reference. For surfaces, they are projected onto them, and for edges, they are projected perpendicular to their path. And finally, projection is also a good way to indicate direction from references for any relevant control, such as depth or position. The redesigned drag handles now better communicate their purpose by showing useful visual cues instead of just being simple generic images. Next, let's take a look at some improvements in the Creo trees. In Creo 11, we improved workflows for expanding and collapsing of tree branches. Previously, it took some time to expand or collapse branches by multiple levels because it required double-clicking on a tree branch or clicking the arrow, which meant you had to find them first. To improve this, we added two new commands, expand by level and collapse by level. Expand by level expands the selected branch by one more level with each click, while collapse by level does the opposite. You can now access these new commands in the main tree toolbar for any tree in Creo. The tree toolbar shows expand by level and collapse all, because they are more common, but you can find expand all and collapse by level under the settings drop menu in all the trees. A notable feature of these new commands is that they depend on selection. This means that they will act on any selected tree node but if nothing is selected, the action will affect the whole tree instead, which makes it handy to gradually expand or collapse the whole tree, or by contrast, any selected branches. We also added a convenient shortcut. By pressing Shift and the Tree Expander arrow, we can activate the Expand branch and the Collapse branch commands, respectively. And finally, we updated the Collapse All command to keep the first level when applied on the top node of the tree. Another nuisance we addressed in Creo 11 is the renaming process in Creo trees, mainly when there are conflicts or illegal characters. Previously, a conflicting name was simply rejected without a reason beyond duplication, and the system reverted to the original name, requiring re-entering the new name from scratch. In Creo 11, when the newly entered name causes a conflict, a new warning is shown and indicates which tree node causes the conflict. The rename dialog will remain open and preserve the text that was entered so it can be changed to a valid name or until we cancel the operation with escape. Also, if the new name has space characters, which are currently unsupported, they will be automatically changed to underscored by the system to conform with Creo naming conventions. Finally, let's review two improvements for common user interface components. The first one is file open.
Previously, the sorting of files in the file open dialog was different from what we are used to in Microsoft Windows environments. In Creo 11, we updated the sorting to match the standard sort order that we are most familiar with from Windows. This means that if you sort file names alphabetically, the list will start with file names that have special characters and numbers, followed by those that have letters from the alphabet without separating uppercase and lowercase characters. The second one is about command search. Instead of exiting the search dialog after finding a command to add it to the quick access bar, you can now conveniently do that from the context menu. When you use command search, simply click right mouse button on the desired command and select add to quick access toolbar from the context menu. This will place the command on the quick access bar without the need of additional UI customization dialogs and steps.